Item 127, missile suspension released. Item 128, launcher closure door open. 128, launcher closure door open. Item 129, first stage ignition, open. How does an ICBM work? Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBMs, were first developed by the United States in 1959 and continue to be a critical weapon in the American nuclear arsenal today. They are the natural extension of technology developed by Nazi Germany during World War II and further developed by the Allies post-war. Various nations field a variety of designs. The United States primarily has the silo-launched Minuteman missiles, for example. There are submarine equivalents called submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, which have similar ranges to ICBMs. Notable examples include the Trident missile system in use by the United Kingdom. In this video, We'll take a quick overview of just how ICBMs work. A detailed analysis of the workings of such weapons is not possible, as you can imagine. What is an ICBM? An Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, is a guided ballistic missile with a minimum range of 5,500 kilometers 3, miles, primarily designed for nuclear weapon delivery, delivering one or more thermonuclear warheads. Similarly, conventional, chemical, and biological weapons can also be delivered with varying effectiveness but have never been deployed on ICBMs. Most modern designs support multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs, allowing a single missile to carry several warheads, each of which can strike a different target – Russia, United States, China, France, India, United Kingdom, and North Korea are the only countries that have operational ICBMs. Early ICBMs had limited precision, which made them suitable for use only against the largest targets, such as cities. They were seen as a safe basing option, one that would keep the deterrent force close to home where it would be difficult to attack. Attacks against military targets, especially hardened ones, still demanded the use of a more precise manned bomber. Second and third generation designs, such as the LGM-118 Peacekeeper, dramatically improved accuracy to the point where even the smallest point targets can be successfully attacked. ICBMs are differentiated by having greater range and speed than other ballistic missiles. Intermediate range ballistic missiles IRBMs, medium range ballistic missiles MRBMs, short range ballistic missiles SRBMs, and tactical ballistic missiles TBMs. Short and medium-range ballistic missiles are known collectively as theater ballistic missiles. ICBM launch phases ICBMs are multi-phase rockets and will go through a preset sequence of events prior to the rocket reaching its target. At takeoff, the ICBM goes through what is called the boost phase. The American Minuteman III ICBM, for example, has a three-stage booster. During the boost phase, the rockets get the missile airborne. This phase lasts around two to five minutes until the ICBM has reached space. ICBMs can have up to three rocket phases with each one ejected or discarded after it burns out. Rockets tend to be fueled by either liquid or solid propellant, 
Liquid fuel rockets tend to burn longer in the boost phase than solid ones, according to COIL. Solid ones, however, provide their energy in a shorter amount of time and burn faster. Both liquid and solid fuels can send their rockets equally as far. Getting up to speed. The second phase of the ICBM's journey is the point where the rocket has reached space. Here it continues along its ballistic trajectory. At this point, the rocket will be traveling very fast indeed. This could be anywhere from 24,140 and 27,360 kilometers an hour. This is the stage where the ICBM achieves its greatest speeds. Such speeds are achieved due to the lack of air resistance in space. Some ICBMs are capable of taking a star shot. This lets them use the location of stars to help them orient themselves toward their target, according to COIL. The third and final phase sees the ICBM final separation and re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The nose cone section carrying the warhead separates from the final rocket booster, orients itself, if needed, and drops back to Earth. At this point, the ICBM is just minutes from its target. If the ICBM has rocket thrusters, those would be used at this point to orient itself towards its target. Some have more than one warhead per ICBM, too. Countdown to Destruction As you'd imagine, it's vitally important that ICBMs have adequate heat shields to survive re-entry. If not, they'd burn up and fall apart. North Korea's Hwasong-15 had a total flight time of around 54 minutes, according to Wright's blog. This is significantly longer than their previous 37-minute test flight on the 4th of July, as well as its 47-minute test flight on July 28, 2017. It's important to note that although countries like the United States, Russia, and China have ICBMs, none have ever been fired in anger against another country.